this is Tate. Welcome to our channel, Tate and Nana UKRN. Nana has been really busy all day baking cakes and biscuits. This is what she does at Christmas. Instead of buying uh, gifts and things for her friends at work, what she does is she bakes cakes and she bakes biscuits and she bakes any kind of sweets that would make her friends invent new recipes and new kind of flavor that she would think her friends will like. Would try to make it a bit more personal. Now I'm in, in the kitchen. This is my turn to um, showcase my cooking talent. It's not actually a proper cooking. Um, this has been requested by our daughter Gianna. She fancies eating um, something sort of hot and um, easy to make. I'll show you um, what I'm doing at the moment. This is a special kind of pot. This is what we call the um, steam pot. Um, what I'm doing there is I put a bit of um, butter on top. It's kind of like a, a mini um, griller. And this is the hot pot. Um, I mix it with um, a tom yum. This is what I normally use, guys, the tom yum, because Tom yum paste. I like that tom yum paste in particular because it's got um, that very distinct Thai flavor. It's not too sweet, it's not too spice spicy, well according to my palate, and it's not too salty. And it's got a, a very natural taste. You can taste a mixture of powerful herbs. Ingredients wise, We've, I've got the sausage, some chorizo in there, some fish balls, and there's some special hot pot you get from um, any Asian store. You can get it from, I think, from uh, the Chinese or, or Indian shop. They're not so expensive. It's costing like um, near, um, not no more than uh, 50 pounds. It may sound a bit expensive, but you know, you can use it over and over again. What to do is put at least a couple of liters of water. Uh, you can set it to either high, low, and then add the mixture, which is this one in the jar. This is a Tom Yum tea. Is a, um, that's a a sausage I bought from the uh, Polish shop. It's kind of like a Spanish chorizo, and uh, the white bit, brownie bit, is traditional English um, sausage. The um, water is boiling now with um, the flavorings. So what I'm going to add in a minute are these ingredients. See, you got the sausage in there. You got fish balls. You got wafer thin uh, beef. You got noodles, you got mushrooms, and this is the kailan. It's kind of like the um, Asian green uh, leafy veggies. It's really tasty, guy, and it's so easy to make. All you have to do is just wait it until it's boiling, and then mix all those ingredients. So when you do it, when you mix the mushrooms and the veggies, making sure that you don't overcook them, otherwise it doesn't taste really nice. You see guys, that's ready to be served. One for me, one for Nanai, and one for Janet. So, as you've noticed, I've switched off the um, hot pot because um, I don't want the water or the mixture just to evaporate. Um, I switch it back on again when I'm ready to make um, another batch of uh, mixed seafoods and vegetables. So just, that's all you need to do, just switch it on and switch it off and until um, you're ready for the next uh, serving. You don't want to uh, continuously boiling the water uh, because you don't need to. If you, you're not cooking anything, so just might as well switch it off. Like what I've told you guys, it's so easy to do. In one simple three steps, and you will have this nice, easy, soury 
spicy, pasty mixture of seafoods. Come on guys, let's eat! Really tasty and yummy. As you can see guys, I didn't have to wait long before the food is ready to serve. And they're so simple ingredients, you can get them from continental shops or any Asian stores. Um, they're normally frozen, but um, it doesn't take too long to defrost them. Um, I think it would take at least 5 um, to 10 minutes. And then once they are properly towed, you can slice them, you can de get them ready on the tray, and just separate them individually so that your guests or your family can choose whatever they like to mix um, in their hot pot. So guys, a comment down below. We very seldom use it, especially during winter time, because it is best to use outside because of the steam that uh, is generated by constant uh, boiling water. So guys, if you use this, kung um, meron kayo nito, uh, comment naman kayo kung saan nyo nabili, magkano ang bili nyo dyan, uh, tuwing kailan siyang ginagamit, at ano ang mga ingredients na ginagamit ninyo. We enjoy it, especially during summertime. Uh, kaya lang, syempre, iba-iba um, yung ginagamit nating ingredients. Uh, depende sa kung anong gusto nyo um, kainin, minsan. If you have any comment, please write them below. Hit the notification bell so that you are always updated to our next video. Um, share and like as well, please.